Hello, so happy you can join me on this beautiful day. It's a beautiful day here, and I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. All I got going on today is a pre-stretched canvas, 16 by 20. What I did was I covered half of it with a coat of black gesso, and the top coat with a thin coat of liquid white, which is used for wet on wet, which that's the type of painting I do. What I also did was I covered the bottom portion, the black, with a very thin coat of liquid clear. That's going to help blend the colors down here on top of the black gesso. And any information on all your colors that come across your screen right about here. What I thought we'd do today is uh, maybe a scene from Alaska where you'd have the snow camp mountain and maybe a water with big wave coming in, some landscaping, stuff like that. So, like I said, this is what we got going on so far, and uh, let's get started with some sky color. I'm going to take a two inch brush that I used uh, liquid white on. I'm going to load up some darker color, Prussian blue, phthalo blue, some midnight black, and some alizarin crimson. Get out purple color. I'm going to load it up on the too much brush on both sides. Just like that. You start out in the corners using crisscross strokes and just blend it down. Maybe some more blue, a bluer color here. Get all kinds of different colors in the sky because you're going to see that. You're going to see all the different, maybe there's purples and blues, light blues, dark blues, who knows. But for this, I thought we'd get a little bit of a darker, darker color. We'd get a little bit more darker, darker in the corners. This is the same color, this purple color. We're going to use for the mountain. If you get that don't going on, I'm going to take this blender brush here. I'm going to start out with the liquid white and blend in and get the sky colors and all the textures in the sky. And that's going to just blend right down. I use circular motions. You can get all kinds of interesting things happening. Maybe get into some dark. Leave some white areas up there too because in the sky you'll see that. Maybe it goes just like that. What I see, what I see is more dark. I want to bring up some darker, darker colors in here. Down. I just smash it on. And it don't matter. You can have dark and light and light and dark. It's your world. Take the blender brush again. Get all the different textures. Clouds. Maybe there's a storm coming. Just blend it in. Maybe it goes down like that. Wherever you think, wherever you see things, wherever you see it happening. Oh, lightly across. Takes away the brush strokes and everything. Okay, I'm going to clean that brush off. I use odorless paint there, which is always good. Knock off the excess. 
I use a paper towel and rags. It's always good. Wipe off the excess. Now we'll take fan brush. Just like that. I'm going to load it up with some titanium white. Liquid white. We'll get some clouds going on. Maybe a touch of midnight black. Get a gray gray mixture going. Just like that. Just load it up. And determine on where you want your clouds to be. Add a little bit more black. The stormy cloud. And we'll blend this in as we go. Just tapping it, getting all kinds of different. We're going to blend this in in a minute and you'll see how it all kind of blends in together and gives you all those interesting things that happen in the, with the clouds. How you can see all the different things, different faces that you might see in the cloud. When you look up and you're laying on your back, just like that. Just here and there. I'm going to make some big clouds, I think. I always like to maybe do things a little bit bigger. I'm going to take that blender brush and just the tips of it. Just the tip of it. We're going to get in here and kind of blend it in. Just here and there. Just tapping it wherever you think. Wherever you think it should be is exactly where it should be. Because it's your world. Maybe it comes right down. Who knows? We're leaving the top edges alone. Because that sometimes is where everything happens. And the tips of the clouds it makes it look like cotton. Who knows? Maybe over here there's some stuff going on. Off into who knows where. Leave some dark areas there. Wiping off the excess. Just like that. Take that blender brush again. Load up some more white. Maybe we'll have another another cloud over here. Maybe he goes like that. Take the blender brush again and blend the back side of it. We like that edge to be sharp. You just make circular motions like the way you think the sky would look. Got another little cloud happening right there. Take some more white. Maybe maybe we'll have one here. Maybe it goes right across in front of the other one. Just like that. Take the blender brush again. Start blending it in. I already got some layers, darker clouds there. Maybe, maybe what I see is... I'm going to make this lighter here. Right at the corners. Kind of make that pop a little bit. Pop 
how it might get some of the reflection in the sky. You'll see some lighter colors out there. Just here and there. Just like that. Leave some openings. That's perfect. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we'll find out what we want our mountain to be. We've got a mixture color of crimson, alizarin crimson, phthalo blue, prussian blue, midnight black. Get a little roll of paint right on the edge of the palette knife. And maybe our mountain here is off center and it's a big, maybe it's up by the clouds. Just like that. Maybe it comes down like that. Getting more paint. Scrape it on. I hope you can hear that. Maybe, maybe. Who knows? Maybe there's a peak right there. Maybe go just like that. And this comes right down. Wiping off some of that paint, grabbing some more of that color. We want this to be a sharp edge. Just like that. Now, I'm going to take a two inch brush. I'm going to blend it, just like that. I'm going to pull down and blend the colors from the mountain. Pay close attention to the lay of the mountain. Maybe this mountain goes right down to the water. another peak there that comes out. Right down to the mist. The mist of the to the ocean. Maybe this goes somewhere. Who knows where? the excess off. Now we'll come in and we'll get some white and we'll start highlighting the highlighting the mountain. We're using titanium white, a little roll of paint. And we'll put some snow on this side. way down. Little roll of paint. Just tapping. Getting that angle. I'll wipe off the excess. Grab some more. wherever you think it should be. It's exactly where it should be. Grabbing some more paint again. You want to determine on where you want your where you want your snow to be at. Maybe there's snow way up here. I'm 
I'm just tapping it. Just tapping it and letting it break. You get all those breaks in there, naturally. Getting another roll of paint. I think this mountain here, I think we can have that break up there. Who knows, maybe it could come across in front. You get all kinds of stuff happening. It's whatever you think. Maybe that goes right down to there. Off the side here we're going to have some hills coming up, some illusions of some evergreen trees. Maybe up there there's some there. Maybe there's some snow here. Also on this palette knife it's got a smaller edge for the smaller places right on that side. And you can come in here and get some of these areas here. You just want some snow to be popping on those sides where the sun might, might hit it. Now we're going to take the same color and we're going to add a little bit of phthalo blue to get a shadow color. Leave it marbly. Get a little roll right on the edge there of that blue, that highlight color. And who knows, maybe right here we can come in with some. I'm just tapping it. Just to get the illusion. Maybe in some areas it's too dark. Maybe you won't even see the. Maybe you won't even see shadows. But in some other areas you will. Wherever you think. A little bit more, maybe in here. in there. Just tapping. Just tapping it and letting it run down. What I see I'm using a fan brush here. I'm going to touch up this area right there little piece of something on there. I always stand back and get another look, different angles. I'm looking for some weight. Titanium weight. Liquid white's a thinner white, titanium white's a thicker white, uh, and it's better for your snow cap mountains. Makes it snowier. liquid white will run off more. It makes it uh, too thin. And for the mountains you want the thicker. Just like that. Now we're going to take the fan brush or the blender brush. And we're going to tap 
the bottom of the mountain. Kind of get it a misty, hazy look. Just barely tap. All the way down to the water's edge. Even with the tapping, you want to pay a close attention to the lay of the mountains. You want to go on the angles. Put your brush on that angle. Just like that. Knock the excess off. We come into that blender brush. I want to make some illusions of some trees going up the hill. We're going to go into that purple color. And we're going to get some titanium white. Going to load it up. And maybe we can have just tapping down. Just tapping down like that. Just here and there. brush again. Pull up. Pull up and pull down. Excess off. Now I'm going to come in and get some water water going. Since I got those colors on there right now, we're going to add some of the dark color again. I'm going to add that purple for the water. Got to load it up on a two inch brush. Just like that. Come in and get that color going for the water. Just put it in. Can't see it now, but when you highlight it with the white, it's all gonna pop. It's gonna be that kind of ocean color. I'm leaving some areas down here where I'm going to put the wave in. I don't want no color because I want that to really come out with the, the eye of the wave. Maybe some darker down here. Now I'm going to take some brown. Highlight some brown areas down right at the bottom. Right, right where it might be a little bit of sandy area coming in. And you'll see that when I put the highlights on too. I'm just scrubbing it in. Okay, clean that thunder brush off, the two inch brush. Knock the excess. Now, I'm going to go into liquid white. Liquid white and a palette knife. Cut a little roll of paint come in and start making some waves, the illusions. The illusions of the waves. Taking the fan brush, I'm going to give circular motions like that, like uh, waves. 
just here and there. Just at the horizon. Get the illusion. water. Just all kinds of different shapes, things happening out here. We'll come in and highlight it more with, uh, with the Waves palette knife as soon as we get this edge along here. Maybe a little bit more white. Get some darker, darker things happening. You know how waves, and especially in the oceans, they got kind of goes all over the place. Got all kinds of things happening out. Now I'm going to take some more on the same fan brush. I'm going to make a, a wave back here because I'm going to have a bigger one coming in here. So I'm taking just the corner of it. I'm going to tap. The harder I tap, Could I give that illusion of a wave crashing in? Just using the corner of the brush. Just like that. All the way. It's coming in. Here and there, we'll tap in some highlighted what we might think waves are. By just what we colored in, it will give you the the areas of where you think it's be coming in with the ocean. Oh, it's rough. Maybe back here it's darker. I'm just taking a corner of the brush and tapping it. It's giving you the illusion of it breaking. Just a little bit here and there. Maybe some way off. Too hard to really see. But normally way off on an ocean. At the horizon. It really looks rough out there. You get that reflection from the sun or just the lightness. Just here and there. Maybe that's where it's coming in the most. I'm going to take that same blender brush, load it up with more titanium white, and we're going to determine where we want our wave to be. I'm just tapping now, just tapping the corner, 
getting an idea maybe it can be right here maybe it'll go right back add some more titanium white because you want that you want that edge to be a little sharper right along here right at the top of the wave and it doesn't have to be straight across you just want that nice edge especially right in here where it breaks just tapping it right along there okay just like that now I'm going to take a filbert brush looks like this here and I'm going to load up some cadmium yellow get that eye of the wave and some titanium white load it up you want the light color more whites just like that and we'll come in here and start coloring the eye you want to leave a little bit of black there along that edge right along that top edge right there a little bit more white just scrubbing it in all the way down and maybe all the way over it's going to get lighter from the sun hitting it and you're going to see as that blends down that you'll get that illusion more white Lighten it up. Want that lighter color. The eye of the wave. Something similar to that. Now, I'm going to take that blender brush and kind of blend this in and get that the wave going on the angles and the way we might think it might be coming in crashing in the shore white from up here at the top of the wave and pull it down. That could be some of the foam. Coming from the top of the wave. Just like that. And the angles. The angle of the wave. brush again. Knock off the excess. And pull that in there. Just barely touching it. Just 
getting that angle. The way it would look. Get a little bit of green color here going. Sometimes that looks kind of greenish in there in the ocean with all the stuff turning over. You got that green hue to it. So we're just adding some green going back to the blender brush. green look to it. Now I'm pulling up where the sand was. And I'm going to grab some yellow and some white and highlight it. Highlight this area here. Where we have some reflection. like that. Clean off the brush again. Pull up. All the way. And go across. Slightly go across. Then you can always come back. Get some more color in there. Maybe right in here. Here and there, but mostly right by the wave. You want that reflection because of the eye of the wave. Just like that. got that reflection down there and right in the area of the wave. Maybe we'll put a little bit more in there. Just like that. Go right across. I made it lighter. Okay, now we'll go back to the wave part. We'll finish some of that using titanium white and the fan brush. Load it up on both sides. And we'll come in and determine where we want the wave to be. Maybe it goes right like that. like that. I'm just tapping. Get that same angle that we used on the waves. That makes it look like they're coming in, just like back here. Okay. Now we'll take the one here, two inch brush, that we had the waves, that we did the beach it off just a little bit. Get that color off of there. I want to go in and start making some waves crashing in. I'm loading it up, tapping it on a two inch brush. Tapping down just like that. You're going to come in here and we're going to start getting some by touching, pushing up Maybe the where the waves are crashing in.
crashing into some rocks. Maybe we'll put some rocks here. waves a little bit. Just taking it to the corner of it. You don't want to blend it all in. You want to keep some of that dark areas on there. You want to get some of that hazy look. Almost like doing clouds. tapping it here and there, blending it in, getting that illusion of it crashing, coming in and crashing. Now I'm going to take the palette knife, load it up with some brown color, Van Dyke brown, maybe some black, get it a darker color. Get it a dark, darker color. A little roll of paint. And let's put in maybe, maybe there's a rock right there. More paint. Turn this canvas up to get that angle off some rocks. Just like that. Now you can also get a little bit of white, kind of highlight it here and there. Maybe where some water rushed down on it. Just like that. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to take the two inch fan brush and go around the edges here and tap. Almost like a water line. where it was splashing up. And you can also take the blender brush, clean it off again. Just blend that in just a little bit. Two hairs. You can feel the you can feel the, the brush, just take it just a little bit. And that's what you want, just to highlight that. Now, I'm going to come in and bring some of this down. Get the wave going a little bit more. Just tapping it. highlighting that wave. Bringing the angles. And just what I highlighted, I'm grabbing it and pulling it down. cleaning off the brush. I'm going to pull this down. Kind of blend it in. Take away those edges. Take 
take away that sharp edge on there. Load up the fan brush again and go along and determine. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take a palette knife, get a little roll of paint, and we'll come in here and we'll do a water line. Just like that. Make another one here. Not to pick up the canvas again. Right along there. The closer to the wave, it's going to be more foamy. So we'll make it foamier doing this. Just tapping that on there. Now we'll take the blender brush. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'm going to take the fan brush. Put the paint on there. And we're going to lift up. pull from that what we just put on there go back the way we think it might be the way the waves might look clean it off that brush some like that, pulling it back. There's some dark areas in there, that always looks good, more real. I like there's separation there. Just pulling it back. that separation between the two gives layers. Just like that. Now, now what we can do Gonna make some land coming out here, I think. So, since I got this this going on, I'll just add some Van Dyke Brown to that. Darken it up, midnight black. Want some dark color? Just like that. Maybe we'll have a peak maybe coming out here. Who knows? I guess we'll put it right there. All the way out there. Who knows? Maybe it goes in just like that. That peak's coming out. Maybe it goes right to there. We'll highlight some of the water area. Got that going on. I'm going to come back into that same brush. I'm going to clean it off just a little bit. I'm going to go into some like a yellow ochre. Yellow ochre and cadmium yellow. And some liquid white. Get a browner color. Just like that. Just tapping. I'm going to come in here and just tap. Just 
here and there. Some highlights of some land. Maybe the land comes right down like that. Here and there. Highlight some areas, make them darker. Highlight them more. It gives it land, the land look. Maybe just like this here. Just like this. Give the layers. Got that happening. Gonna take the fan brush. Gonna load it up with some sap green. Maybe midnight black. Get a darker color. And I'm gonna use some liquid clear. It's gonna thin it out because a thin paint will stick to a thick paint every time. That's a good way to remember it. A little bit more black. Darken it up. Thin it out. Gonna get the illusions. Making illusions of evergreen trees growing in the back. Just like that. Maybe we'll start here. Here. There. It's kind of all over how they grow. I'm just tapping. Who knows, maybe it comes right out to the edge. Right out like that. Maybe this one's taller. I'm just filling this in now. Got the top part how I wanted it, pretty much. Now the bottom part. I want to make it look like there's a forest there. of things happening in there. Just touching, just tapping up now. By doing that you get different layers going on in there. Got another set of trees. just like that. Now I'm going to clean this brush off. I'm going to go back in and tap it to blend it in near the bottom. Just go across and tap it. along that edge. Now I need to get it down here. Have it going right off the edge. Kind of gives it that hazy, that misty look that you're looking for. In between each layer you got those hazes and it looks foggy. And let's see, we're going to do the water edge. I'm going to take some white on the palette knife and just come in here and tap. Here and there. A 
where there'd be some water coming in. Maybe it's a little rougher there, so you might find more the waves coming in. Kind of give that glistening. I'm just tapping this. Maybe the waves are crashing. Who knows? It's your world. Cleaning that fan, fan brush off again. So I'm going to come in and clean this area up some. Just go right across. Get it more of a waters line. Water's edge right there. Just like that. Maybe you could take your fan brush and go up. Make it look like some waves crashing in the shore. Just taking the corner of it and tapping up. Like I said, we're creating, creating illusions of it just being rough over there. Got the rocks going on pretty nice. Now, we could probably put a tree in here. So, I'm going to go into some Van Dyke Brown. And a fan brush, a little bit of liquid paper. Liquid clear thins it out. Load it up on the brush just like that. Maybe, maybe our tree is right here. I'm just tapping it. Maybe this tree is bent over this way. And you can tap harder at the base and then work your way up. All the way to the top. Maybe got a branch coming out here. Just tapping it. Maybe there's a little one coming out there. Who knows? I'm going to take some lighter color and I'm going to highlight it. Highlight it on the angle. I'm going to load it up just like that. And I'm going to tap it on the side. Tap it on the side of where the light's hitting. Just like that. Wipe it off. And then give the angle. Load up some more white. Just tap it. Just like that. Now we're going into the set greens. Brown, black. Darker. Just tapping it on the fan brush. I'm going to put some leaves in now. Just like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by tapping. Just making some the illusions.
elevation of you got some things happening. Maybe this one comes down. Who knows? Got some stuff happening. That's kind of right. coming down there. I'm going to clean this off and I'm going to go into some light colors and I'm going to highlight I'm going to highlight the evergreen tree. lighter colors of the green. Load it up on both sides, just like that. Just start out by tapping. Here and there, there and here. I want to get it lighter. Tapping it. Yeah, you got some light things happening down there. Just about like that. And with that. We can call this a completed painting. I'm going to use some lighter colors for this corner here. A lot of people like to use their last name, first name, initials. I like using my last name. And I always sign it in the corner. It's like putting the year on it. What year I painted it? Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. Get the uh, more of an Alaskan uh, landscape. The big wave crashing in and the big mountain in the back. Well, I hope you painted along with me, and I hope you come back and see me and have a wonderful day.